it's Kelly. We're here in Black Thread Studio. And let me start by telling you that this is the second time I've done this today. I almost feel like crying, but I'm not going to. So I'll tell you real quick what happened. I'm really learning to try to, or trying to learn how to use iMovie and edit videos and do different things. And I'm still trying to do it all with my phone, which I guess would work if I knew what I was doing. But I honestly, I think did a really, really good how-to video to show you guys some machine applique on this uh, Rudolph silhouette pillow that um, I was gonna do today. And I got it down to, it was just under an hour, which I thought wasn't too bad to make the whole pillow. But in trying to edit and do different things in the iMovie and not being able to log in and do different things and then I had too much, my storage was full, I deleted my video the whole thing, the whole thing that I did for you this morning is deleted, it's gone. Where um, <laughs> I was in detail on how to show you guys how to machine applique. Um, I'm gonna attempt it again tomorrow, I think. I will show you what I got done today without you. Um, I didn't know it was gonna be without you, but it was. I might just recap really quick, just so you guys have an idea. Um, we are gonna do, I showed at the beginning, this is the Silhouette Reindeer Head with the antlers. This is framed. There's um, a couple ornaments, templates that you will get. This is not my design. I got this on Free Clip Art. I Googled it and this is what I came up with. So you can see how I got that. Um, I didn't do all the details, but I'm gonna share this with you guys as well as some directions and then excuse me and then the ornaments and it will have some directions on there on what we're going to do so if you want to participate and make this you can email me at blackthreadstudio at yahoo.com and in the subject line put me please that does apply for anything that we make here on blackthread studio channel Anything that you want, if you email me and put me please in the subject line, anything that you do, we do, you will automatically get it if I'm going to send something out. Um, if you don't want it, I guess just don't open it or um, email me and tell me to take your name off the list. But for right now, that's how I'm going to do it. So if you want to do the reindeer silhouette and this one, I'm going to call Prancer because who doesn't love the movie Prancer and Sam Elliott. So this one's Prancer. And then I did make Rudolph. And Rudolph, this is what we did today. <laughs> this is what we did today. We spent all morning on it, or I did. This is Rudolph. And you can see I did it totally different. I did it kind of in real subdued colors because I wanted it to be um, just a little less flashy, I guess, um, sitting on my couch here. but. I'll go through real quick what what we what to do as far as making this into a pillow. I'm sorry. I, I feel like my heart is broken because I put so much work into that and it's gone, but it's my own fault. Um, not that I put so much work into it, but I put so much work in it, in it to share with you. And I was really um, trying to make it good and special so you guys would be able to follow along really easy and do this. So again, I'll attempt it again tomorrow. But anyway, this is the pillow. I um, did tell you earlier that I use down fill pillows and they can be expensive even buying the forms. It might be kind of iffy right now during COVID, but I do get um, down fill pillows. I look for them at Goodwill or thrift shops and then I take the nasty covers off. I thought I had this cover I was gonna show you, but. Um, I take them off, use Febreze or Lysol, and spray the inside. Most of them aren't bad at all. Otherwise, if you're really creeped out and, you know, want to take it, well, if you're that creeped out, you're not going to go to Goodwill and buy it. But otherwise, I guess you could take it and have it cleaned. But anyway, this is the pillow. It's really plain on the back. But I did quilt it. Can you see the red stitching at all? So the front and back, I did quilt. This one we did with us, I call it a running, um, a running 
hidden stitch on the bottom where we stitched it closed. And I think it's a good way to do it. And I don't know if um, there's ways out there how you do it, but again, I think I'm gonna redo this video and I'll show you that tomorrow along with some machine applique. It might not be the reindeer pillow, but I will show you something else that we can work on that will be kind of Christmassy. So if you want to do the pillow, this one is 18 inch. I cut the front and the back at 20 inch with some batting. I did not do three layers to quilt it. I just did the, the front, you know, the, the fabric itself and then the batting and I did all the detail stitching and then I came back and quilted it. So I will share that with you. I will show you again what we'll get and go through really quick what I did. To do that, you'll need some Mylar plastic if you do it the way I did. I will send you the ornaments and the reindeer head. And all you have to do is set it down and go ahead and trace it with a black, I use a black Sharpie, and then cut it out. I did, I thought, oh, do I want to put some detail on there? I, I didn't, but if you want to draw it on there, that's fine. I do not use steam a seam or anything like that or glue. I have and I will. It's just that in this pillow form, I wanted it to be very soft and I didn't want you to feel any stiffness. So in order to do that, and I will touch on this again when I make the applique video, I used packing tape on the back to get this secured down onto the fabric, just the body part. Then I took and I did use a water soluble pen and traced around when it came to the antlers. I just held it down real tight and traced just like this and just traced. Then you'll get it and cut it out. When I cut it out, I actually used some spray starch when I um, ironed it. I starched it first and ironed it and then I cut it out. The starch made this a little bit stiffer. It was easier to cut out the finer points. And then it laid really nicely on the fabric. It held a little bit of stiffness without using any steam -a seam to make it um, you know, too stiff when it was in the pillow form. But that's how I did it. I cut it out. I measured the center. I laid it down. I did some decorative applique stitch on my machine. And then I came back and I did a lot of decorative stitch with variegated thread on the ornaments. I then embellished it with some really pretty hand dyed silk ribbon from the thread gatherer. And then I came in and I found some old buttons. I went through all my old buttons here, if you can see. I have a bunch of them that I went through to try to find just the right buttons. So I am so sorry the video didn't work out for you guys today, um, but I did want to pop in and show you what I did, talk about it just a little bit, and then let you know I'll try to make up for it tomorrow, and I will come back with, um, I'm thinking maybe a Christmas tree or something like that where I can just show you some of my machine applique tricks that might make it a little bit easier for you. Whether, even if you do know how to machine applique, um, I'll just show you how I do it in case it's different and it ends up to be something, um, a style that you wanna try. So um, on Tuesday teaser, I will share with you what we're gonna do, but since I have it sitting here and I'm gonna be working on it, I will show you that next week I'm gonna do the Pentagon EPP balls. Um, this right now is inside out because that's how you start to construct it. This is going to be a ball for reed. As you can see, this is half of it and it's gonna be pretty big. These are the two, two and a half inch Pentagons, I think, two or two and a half inch. 
Reed Blood's car, so I embroidered that on in the middle. The other side will have his initial, and Grandma had to put love on there for him. And I'm gonna construct that. I will get that done and show you the finished product on Tuesday teaser and for next Saturday, the teaser for next Saturday, and then I think I'll make Hadley's. So I'm hoping they will have fun throwing those around in the house without causing too much damage. Um, since they'll be soft, I'm going to put a little, maybe a big jingle bell in there so it really has some sound to it. Anyway, um, that's it. I'm a little, <laughs> a little discombobulated because I spent so much time and deleted my video, which is totally my fault. But there you are. Rudolph Silhouette, Black Thread Studio at yahoo.com, and me please in the subject line. And I will send you all the information and look for me again tomorrow. I'm going to try it again. Okay, bye-bye.